Welcome to another KISSSOFT video tutorial. Today I'm going to talk just quickly about DXF files and 3D step files and how we export these. This is different than how you would export a file uh, or 3D file into your 3D CAD system. That requires an interface module and you would do that down here through 3D export. And that would go to your 3D CAD system and it would create the file. What we're going to talk about is uh, a 2D DXF file and 3D step files or binary files today. So first, um, I, I want to talk about like a precision uh, gear, a very small module, 0.4, pretty small teeth. And I wanted to show you the, the geometry, the 2D geometry meshing module. Right here we go to graphics, geometry, meshing, we can do tooth form, cutter tools, manufacturing. There's lots of different things we can look at. Okay? Now, in this particular example, if we zoom in on the DXF, we can see I have three specific lines here. This red line represents the final machining. I'm not sure what they call it final machine, but it would be the machining before modifications or tip rounding. So this is where you start your tooth. So you, you've you designed a tooth and this is where you start and then you've gone in and done some mod modifications to the tooth and this little gray line right here, I could even change this to maybe be a purple. This purple line now represents the modifications that you've created on your tooth. Okay. And this blue line represents the last bit of change to your tooth. In this case, it's a tip rounding. So maybe this is a plastic gear or a powder metal gear. So we have this, uh, this tooth form, and you have these three lines. What we are interested in, this, this shows you the progression of the design. When we, when we talk about a tooth form, uh, we'll say we'll go tooth form of gear one. You can see over here automatically the automatic and uh, final machining modifications are turned off and only the tip rounding is on. Okay? And and that's what you want because the final fo tooth form is going to be this, this uh, add to the final modification you've done to the entire form is going to be this last, this last uh, tooth form line right here. So if you want to export this, it's a spur gear, you want to export it and extrude it into your 3D CAD of choice, you would simply do a save as, and it automatically comes up as tooth form, and you could also um, do an IGES file if you wanted, but uh, typically DXF form is fine. Okay? And that's how you'd export a DXF uh, of a 2D tooth form. Now we have also 3D geometry, and we have a we can look at both of them in system. And, and incidentally, you can export the entire system if you like, and it'll give you two um, step files in mesh as they're designed. So here you can see, and I, I remember I mentioned this really. Um, small module. If I move this over, you can see my pinion isn't doing anything, right? It doesn't look like a real pinion. When we get into really small tooth forms, tooth, uh, tooth modules, pitches, however you want to call it, uh, we end up with, uh, we need to work with our permissible deviations. In our tooth form tab here, we can make a couple of selections. And this accounts also for the uh, DXF files uh, in your tooth mesh in the, in the 2D. You can decide if you want the mean value of the diameter um, versus the maximum or minimum. And you can also do the same thing with the tooth thickness, maximum or minimum. Okay. In this geometry, when I go to geometry 1 and I run this, you can see that I have uh, my 3D file is not necessarily working the way it should. It's not I'm not visually seeing what I should see. 
And then, in fact, if you were to save this as a, a step file, that's what you'd get. So what I need to do is I need to adjust my permissible deviations level. I need to loosen those up. Right now it's at 0 .004 microns. Maybe I go to 0.1 and run this. Uh, 0.1 doesn't work. 0 0.2. 0 0.2, uh, 0.2 permissible deviation is uh, times 10 to the minus 3. So 0 0.08 micron deviation. I don't think that you can even measure that. But <clears throat> now you have a, um, a solid pinion. Typically, this is for only the really fine-pitched uh, teeth. Uh, if you had a larger pitch tooth, you could probably keep that at 0 0.01 or 1, and it would work just fine. Um, if I was going to extrude, uh, if I was going to save this, now I would I would go ahead and I'd hit save as, and it automatically comes up to uh, a step file format. I can also do a parasol transmit or a parasol binary format for 3D files. Typically, we look at the step files, um, but it's your choice. You can also export, you know, a bitmap or Photoshop or JPEG or a PNG. And then that's it. That's how you would export a 3D solid um, solid model as a step file in from, Sol uh, from Kissoft. Incidentally, you can only export a, a step file in the KISS in the uh, face gear module. And I think there's also a three uh, a three D geometry module for bevel gears where you'd have to, to export as a uh, a step file as well. So if you have any questions about this or if it's not clear, please don't hesitate to contact us at Kissoft USA. Uh, you can go on the website and find our webpage, and you can uh, also you can email me at ty.warner at kissoff.com, or you can call at 715-477-0828. And uh, if you have questions about the software, uh, interested in purchasing, or just have a general, you have a seat and you're trying to get more out of it, um, please give me a call, and, and we'll support you as best we can. Again, it's Ty Warner with Kissoft USA. Thanks for watching.